There is the overall misbelief that grinding for 12 hour long days and putting in a lot of hard work for a short period of time brings you long lasting success. We think that the intensity of our work is more important than its consistency. But in order to achieve your ambitious goals, you need to show up every single day for a long time. People don't become fit from lifting weights or going for a run once every two weeks. Successful business owners don't become millionaires from just having an idea. Professional athletes don't perfect their craft by training once a week. There is no such thing as an overnight success. Successful people didn't get to where they are because they performed at their peak when everybody was watching or because they got lucky. They got there because they disciplined themselves every single day when no one was watching. You have to develop healthy habits that will guide you to find your why and your purpose in life and overall adapt your life to an effective schedule, which will in turn help you reach your goals and dreams. In the end, it all comes down to your habits and discipline, or in other words, your daily routine. What's up YouTube, my name's Mitch Third and I'm the CEO and founder of Third Fix and Third Fix Collection and the co-founder of a villa in Bali called Villa Tami. About 18 months ago, I began on this self-development journey. I became obsessed with becoming the best version of myself. I've incorporated routines and habits for my mind, body and soul that have propelled my businesses exponentially. I've learned how to deal with that resistance and how to conquer that voice in your head that I call your inner bitch. Don't get me wrong, I didn't just wake up one day and have the perfect daily routine, all figured out. I trialed and tested all these amazing exercises and experiences and now, 18 months later, I feel I've perfected it. My morning routine consists of waking up before the sun at 4.30. I get up, wash my face, brush my teeth and go down to the beach and do a five kilometer walk at a pretty fast pace. This helps me get the body moving, get the blood flowing and waking up all my senses. Once I've finished that, I'll set up, lay my towel down and do 10 minutes of Wim Hof breathing technique. This breathing exercise is focused on deep and rhythmic inhalations and exhalations and are followed by a retention time where you hold your breath for as long as you can. By doing this, you're releasing more energy, influencing your nervous system and changing various physiological responses, which helps with stress reduction, better sleep, enhanced creativity and more focus and clarity. This breathing technique gets me into full zen state where I'll choose a guided meditation from the app called Calm or Insight Timer. Or I'll simply just do 10 to 20 minutes of silence. Meditation is so, so important regardless of what you do for a living. Some of the benefits that I've experienced from consistent meditation is that it has improved my focus, boosts my mood and has helped me regulate my emotions and thoughts. Depending on what time of year it is, I'll either go for a swim in the beach if it's winter or have a 10 minute cold shower if it's in the warmer months of the year. Regular exposure to cold therapy will speed up your metabolism, it'll help with inflammation in your body, it'll improve with the quality of sleep, it'll help you to stay more focused throughout the day and even improve your immune system. And to be completely honest, I haven't gotten sick or felt down for almost about a year and a half now. I then write down three things I'm grateful for, which I feel gives me the overall sense of happiness before I start my day. For me, gratitude is the key to happiness. I'll say that again, gratitude is the key to happiness. If you're grateful for the things you have and achieve, the people in your life, the connections, food, water, all the little things in your life, your whole perspective and point of view changes rapidly. And the universe will gift you with an abundance of happiness if you have this outlook on life. I finish up my morning routine by setting intentions and planning out my day and have my mushroom extracts which help with clarity and energy and as well as your gut health. Once I finish my morning routine around 7.30, 8am, I drive to work. Here I will set my deep work times. This sort of work is intervals of two hours with minimal to no distractions with a 30 minute break. This is for ultimate focus and productivity. By rewarding myself with a 30 minute break, it styles my distractions and keeps me dialed in. I usually use the 30 minutes to watch a bit of YouTube or scroll through my Instagram or reply to DMs. I usually fast till about 11 a.m., 12 p.m. and eat two large meals. My entire working day is from about 8 till 5 p.m. From there, I'll go to the gym where I'm currently running a bro split, so chest, back, legs, shoulders, arms. Um, I'm also finishing my gym with a 20 minute step up which I do every single day. Having my morning routine and the gym at the same time every single day is so important. 
It allows me to work my days around them and not let the day run me. I know that Zoom meetings or even face-to-face -face meetings are a no-go in those times. Once I finish the gym, I'll drive home and either have a microwave meal or go out to dinner with my friend. I'm not exactly a uh, Chef Ramsay. I'll then wrap up my day by having my mushroom extract, which help with my hair, skin and nails, helps me to wind down, and it also helps me with dreaming, which gives me an overall better sleep. I'll then go to bed and do 30 minutes of reading. A goal of mine this year was to read one book a month. We're in the month of November and I'm already halfway through my 12th book. Some of the books I've read this year, um, Can't Hurt Me by David Goggins, Atomic Habits by James Clear, Think Like a Monk, The Resilience Project, The Seven Habits of a Highly Effective People, Rich Dad Poor Dad, High Performance Habits, uh, The Power of Now, and The Happiest Man on Earth. If I could give three books, my top three books, I would say, um, the Resilience Project talks about gratitude, empathy, uh, mindfulness, Atomic Habits, that was amazing for habits and routine, and then The Power of Now, that talks about uh, living in the past is depression, living in the future is anxiety, and living right here in the present is happiness. Now, obviously my daily routine isn't for everyone, however, I believe there are a few key points to take away. Wake up early, and do not press the snooze button. The easiest way I've found to get up is to count backwards from five. Do something challenging or difficult to start your day, whether that's making your bed or, or doing the 10 minute cold shower, so any sort of cold therapy. Make sure you're doing something for your mind, your body, and your soul. If you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you don't wanna miss out on any more content, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Next week's video is about finding your passion and how you can make a living from it. Make sure you comment three things you're grateful for and I'll see you guys in the next video.